See how natural this hand is? It's very flat and straight. So I'm able to apply pressure very evenly and low, parallel to the stone. And the sharp skate itself is like a, a piston. It's, it's carrying the weight back and forth as I go. Look at that, almost completely across. Just, just a tiny little bit here in the corner. close. Ooh, just a touch more. It's amazing. I mean, we're down to this tiny little dot right here at the corner. It's almost completely across. We got a burr coming very nicely. Big, strong burr all the way to just into that corner. And we just got to do a little more until we get there. It's always slow at the end because you have the most metal to remove when you're squaring something up. more precise edge. So we'll square the stone up just a little bit and clean it off here. And then I'll hit it one more time just just to really get it nice and square on the 500. Holding that bevel right down flat on the stone, working out over the ends. Okay, turn the stone. We hit all the spots on the stone. Now I'm just going to finish up. Remember what a rusty mess it was a few minutes ago? Now it's straight, beautiful corners. Big burr, you can see it even with your eyes. It's a big honking burr. Put some water up there. And very quickly, we will uh, turn another burr. And this will polish things out and refine the, uh, the edge there. Give us a beautiful polish. We'll get another burr, it'll be tighter this time. Okay. You can see how that came out. And 
since everything's so square, it really didn't take much. Oh, my, look at that. We have a new burr right along there. I think I will just put it on this side as well. Might as well use the whole stone evenly. Now, I'll bring the one micron, 16,000, back up here. Just uh, knock the dirt off. And come over here and cut the burr off again. Okay. Boy, that's hard steel. Feels sharp. Wow, it just feels sharp now. Beautiful. All right, now let's just see how it looks at 2,000. We had a lot of, um, you know, very deep rust there to begin with. So I think I just want to um, do one more rotation on the 7.5 micron. 2000 here. So I'll put that back up here and just hit it one more time. Get another burr created. Very shallow angle, so having to remove a lot of metal. The more shallow your angle is, the more material you have to remove. So sharpening gets slower. So much faster at you know steeper angles. And remember, we're putting this new bevel on here at 21 degrees. So that's that's really quite shallow. Now I feel a nice burr. Remember, I'm never pulling this way. I'm always feeling along the burr here. And I'll put that one micron abrasive back up there. And we'll just cut the burr off. Let's see a little more water. It's a little dry there. Okay. There we go. It's better. All right. Now I think what? Ooh, that very sharp. Sharp corners. Very sharp all along the way. Very square. So I'm just going to turn the sharp skate right over, and I'm going to do the bevel on the one micron, sixteen thousand. This will polish it right out, right to a mirror very quickly. Scratches will be just beautiful. over the stone here. Oops. Let me turn the stone. Very shallow bevel. So the, a lot of the blade is protruding out from the end of the skate. Okay, let's just clean it up. Okay, cut the burr off.
that is a shot just barely touching my Well, as you can see, the Sharpscape works. It's so easy, there's almost nothing to show you. This is really one of the more complex tools that you would sharpen uh, in the Sharpscape because it has so many different facets. Again, it's narrow here, it's wide at the front, it's thick here and thin here, and it's curved on top. So by having so many different facets, it's really a, a fairly difficult tool, but the Sharpscape handled it uh, just beautifully and so sharp. And that's just with three stones. Um, and uh, we got rid of all the rust and just brought this chisel right back into, um, into good shape. Now, as I resharpen a few more times, the, the metal will move on back. We'll eventually get the entire bevel. I could hollow grind it and then sharpen it again. And get the bevel uh, very, very quickly uh, that way. But all in all, uh, I think it's been a good test. Thanks for watching.